out of my colleague Carolyn Gussoff with the Swazi campaign. Thanks, Jen. You can call this race intense, heated, a nail biter. Today's snow sprinkling in even more drama. To give you an idea of the intensity, look at this. 18 mailings to one household in two weeks. $20 million have been poured into this race, which could help determine who controls the house. Thank you. Cheers from the health care union for Swazi, not Mozzie. The former congressman firing up supporters after a barrage of attack ads tried to tie him to the migrant crisis, he fought back hard with a message he's the post Santos vote for sanity. If you want change in Washington, D.C., I'm your candidate because, yeah. why, because Washington, D.C. is broken and everything's about partisanship and fighting and fighting and fighting. And my whole campaign and my whole career is about bringing people together. That, he says, takes experience, not just rhetoric, painting Pillup as the novice with, quote, no clue how to run a government, himself as the centrist with solutions. She's not very clear about what her positions are. She won't stand up and say what, she's, what she really, really believes in. It's kind of like she waffles all over the place. It's really Santos 2.0. After heavy early voting, polling places got a slow start as snow fell, volunteers knocking on doors till nightfall. They can say a lot of things, right? But let's look at the work that he has done and how good of a job he has done. We saw what happened with the last guy. You know, we have to make a smart choice. We have to make sure that there's someone in office with experience, someone who's trustworthy. Polling says it's too close to call. Both camps are offering rides to the polls, which close at 9 p.m. In Woodbury, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News.